People from all over New England gathered outside the Big E Fairgrounds tonight for the International Vigil for Elephants. The Western Mass animal rights activists are honoring Beulah, the elephant that died three days into the Big E. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is in studio with more. Lindsay. Sarah vigils were held in 10 cities over the weekend to remember 37 elephants that died in captivity in 2019. Two of those elephants, Beulah and Karen, are being honored worldwide. They died in the care of the R.W. Comerford and Sons, an organization that has spent many years at the Big E. This cannot happen again. We won't let it. People from all over New England are holding candles and signs outside of the Big E fairground Sunday night, making sure their voices are heard. Vigils were held as far as California, Oregon, and Mexico to honor the 37 elephants that died in captivity in 2019 including two that have been seen at the Big E. Beulah is one of them, and unfortunately, um, she just died right, right over there on September 15th, and um, so we, we had to participate this year. Beulah and another elephant, Karen, were owned by the R.W. Comerford and Sons. Karen died last March, and like Beulah, spent many years at the Big E. Animal rights activists have had multiple protests and vigils remembering both Beulah and Karen, but now they stand with people all over the nation tonight fighting the same battle. It's sad that we have to do this, but it's really uplifting knowing that people uh, are so passionate about Beulah and elephants in general um, in captivity. There are two bills being pushed in the state that would ban primates, elephants, big cats and bears from being used in performances and traveling exhibits. And supporters of the bills hope change is coming. All animals are sentient, sentient beings. They have feelings, uh, they feel pain, they feel sorrow, uh, they feel loneliness. It's not morally right at all and uh, by by, do, by treating animals this way, we're setting the wrong precedent for, our, for children. Cheryl Becker, president of Western Mass Animal Rights Activists, tells Western Mass News she believes their efforts have led to a turning point in the state. See, nowadays, it, something like this just spreads like wildfire. You know, we're not radical extremists, you know, we're just people with a, with a heart who care about those poor elephants. Of the two bills in legislation now, one remains in the House and the other is in the Senate. Neither bill applies to zoos. In studio, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.